as you see I have the rock here in a, in a bowl of the salt water from the tank didn't have a big enough bowl for the whole rock to fit in but I at least got the the mushrooms in in the water so I'm gonna go ahead and t try to to um, cut the little mushroom off I'm gonna go ahead and put my camera up here we can see gotta kind of rig this up I've got a, a scalpel here, scalpel blade, and I'm going to try to cut into the rock. It's got kind of a foamy thing here, so I've got a little bit of the rock with it here. I really want to try to take off as much of this hair algae as I can. I got a little rock on the back of that. I place it back in the water and on this where whenever I got the frag it had a whole bunch of rubble rock together and it's kind of it's got some weird stuff growing in it and see how it's kind of it's kind of gooey. It's real weird, and it, it overtakes the rocks. I've had a rock before, and it overtook it. And I don't know if it's necessarily good for the the coral or not. I'm not sure, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off. I don't like it. It overgrows my my rocks, and I'm gonna cut it off. There's no no need for it. I don't think if I have the other frags, so. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that, right. put that back in the water, and I'm going to get my brush. Let's see my brush here, and then I'm going to brush this. Algae off this rock. It's the best way that I've found to get the algae off the rocks just to brush it off. I don't know if it's the right way, if you're supposed to do this or not, but it seems to work with with my other tanks, so I'm gonna go ahead and try it with this. doing this I might as well it basically looks about like all of it all right if I left it like this I'd drive scrubbed all of the um, the algae off of it it would definitely grow big time all over this rock so what I usually do is I take and Go ahead and rinse it off with some fresh water. I don't think this hurts the corals at all, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyways. I've seen it seemed like it's worked before, but I'm trying to keep it off the coral as much as I can. Now I'm going to get the coral frag out of here. You see it's right there. And 
There's a little bit of green hair algae on here. I'm going to pull it off. But, I you know a little bit becomes a lot. So, now I'm going to take this, uh, this towel, find the place that I want it. And I'm going to dab off. Let it get real dry right there. And take my super glue. And place some right where I need it. And I'm going to put my frag right on top of the glue. Let it dry for just one second. And I'm going to take and put it back into the tank. Once this super glue hits the water, it dries real fast. I'm going to put it back to where I like it in my tank. Now hopefully, hopefully that took care of the green hair algae problem. I'll do another update on this and uh, show you guys what happened if it uh, if they stay closed or or what happens. All right, thank you.